just entered into racism 101. Peace, peace. My name's uh, Antoine Travis. I go by Sankofa, though. My name is Natasha Edwards. What is racism? You may ask. I would talk to my white co-workers and I would tell them the same thing. i say, you know, you're no different than me. The only thing you have that they gave you is privilege, and that privilege is to do what you can or will to me. No, to me. Have I seen racism in Chicago? Damn, yeah. Maybe kindergarten or first grade, me and my mom was at a grocery store. Her and a white lady had some type of altercation. I'm not even sure what the altercation was about, but the manager came over and told us to get out. And it was just me and my mom he told to get out. He didn't tell the other lady to get out, which was the white lady. He never came over there and said, what's going on, what's the problem? To see if, you know, we caused the problem, the other person caused the problem. He never even said nothing. He just looked at us and said, get out. So, wow. I understand that was a racist situation. And nobody came home to say, yeah, they over here beating our ass over here in this place called America. Yeah. Nobody came home and said that. So, as it goes down further and further and further, as they become more extinct, they become more desperate, and desperate people do desperate things. So we as a people, even though we're still here, we have to be careful. Martin Luther King said, out of all the places he been to, and Martin Luther King from the South, he said, out of all places he been to, he ain't ever seen no fucking racism like he seen in Chicago. And that say a lot, though. The officer was dead wrong and bogus and had no reason for pulling him over at all, except driving while black. I go in a pawn shop, I come out of the pawn shop, I get in my car. Before I can even start my car up, it's a hand coming into my car, grab me by my shirt. Yes. Scared. I looked. And it was just the, the white man that was just yelling at me. Grabbing at my shirt. I get out of the car on the other side. I'm like, dude, like, what the? What are you doing? Like, what? He's yelling, nigga, 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 nigga. The people who I just made a purchase from inside the pawn shop came out of the pawn shop, guns drawn on me. He held me there to the police camp. The white man called me every nigga in the book, got in his car with this drunk white woman and pulled off. You know, the police came and harassed me about that. I felt this small because I know I hadn't done nothing. This white man came to my car, grabbed me, something. I don't know what I did. I don't know, I ain't gonna say what I did. I don't know what his problem was because I know he was yelling at me, but that was in traffic. That was in traffic. I pulled over, went into the store, got what I needed, come back to my car, and start my car up. And grab. So me and the man going back and forth, they come out with guns. They got guns on the pond shop. Yeah, for sure. They must have seen it on the camera. They came out with the guns on me. Automatically. Called the police, police come, North police said, you must have did something. What did you do to him to provoke him? You did something. We say, well, these are my friends, so it can't be any racism. They're my friends. They'll buy me this, they'll do me that. And then we don't really look at the whole picture. See? Racism is the mistreatment of a group of people based on color. 